So these are different ways that we can make a parrot. Remember, the parrot in the book is green. So we are going to make it green and not red or any of the other colors that it shows, okay? So here's one example that you can use a piece of paper, cut out a parrot, and then you can use your handprint for the wings and here you can use make the tail. Again, use green. If you have feathers, you can use feathers. This one, probably the best for everyone, a paper plate. And you can use this here. See how they cut it in half and then they cut a little piece out here. So really you only need one, you can make it green. And then if you have paper, you could just color feathers instead of uh, finding actual feathers. Make the beak and the eye. Here's another one, just using paper. That one looks hard. This one again, paint, you can paint your hand. This one looks like um, cupcake holders that you can use if you have green ones. Here's another thing of paper, see, I would say draw it like kind of like a peanut and then um, draw feathers. Make everything green though, because it was a green one, it said. And then um, the green tail, green feathers, and then he has like a yellowish orange beak. Here's the plate again, another one with the hand prints for the tail and the wings. And it actually looks like it could possibly be your foot that they traced for the body. So that's pretty cool. Trace your foot for the body, trace your hands and the, um, for the tail and feet. There's one for popsicle sticks, more hand prints, Play-Doh, a paper cup, many different ways, okay? Oh, here's even a toilet paper roll if you want to use that and color that green. This one looks like it's like spaghetti or something that they colored in. More paper plates. So that's just about all I'm going to show you, but many different ways that you can make your parrot.